Hello friends, we're continuing our series of looking at solving systems of equations from word problems. And what we're going to look here in part three is what to do if you have comparison equations. Now, as for any set of word problems for systems of equations, you're going to read the entire problem. You're going to write your let statements where you say X is this thing for my problem and Y is this other thing for my problem. And then you're going to write your two equations, making sure that both of your equations are using both of your variables. Then you're going to solve, and you're solving by whatever method you prefer. And then you're interpreting your solution to find your answer. So remember, a reminder, the solution is the ordered pair. The answer is whatever question they've actually asked you in your problem. All right, so let's look at comparison equations. This is when it says something like she has twice as many this thing as that thing, or he has 10 more of this thing than that thing. The information that they're giving us is, com it's not a total, it's comparing the two things to each other. So what you have to do to write an equation for that is you have to decide which of your variables is the bigger amount. Now what I do is I use what I call my metaphor circles. I literally draw these circles and I decide, okay, of the two things, which one is the bigger thing? And I write that variable on the bigger circle. And then I ask myself, how would the smaller variable have to grow in order to be equal to the bigger variable? Remember, we're writing an equation. We're writing an equation where we have said that these two things are equal. Well, they're obviously not equal if one is bigger than the other one. So I'm going to ask myself, okay, in order for them to actually be equal, how would the smaller one need to grow? And it's usually by an either adding or multiplying. Most of the word problems that you're going to look at, you're either growing by adding or you're growing by multiplying. So let's look at what it says when it has adding words. So it, usually the language is something like you have some number more of your first thing than your second thing. So for example, two more burritos than tacos, or five more pencils than markers. All right, so let's write um, equations for these examples. So for my example, two more burritos than tacos. All right, well, there's my metaphor circles. If I have more burritos, burritos is bigger. So I put in burritos on the bigger circle and tacos on the smaller circle. So now I'm asking myself, well, how would tacos need to grow in order to be equal to burritos? Well, in the problem, they tell me that there are two more burritos. So I would need to add two to the tacos to make them equal with the burritos. And then when I write that as an equation, B for burritos equals tacos plus two. That is the equation that matches the words two more burritos than tacos. What if I have five more pencils than markers? Well, if I have more pencils, pencils is bigger. And so how would markers need to grow? Well, markers would need to grow by adding five. So P equals M plus five. Pencils equals markers plus five. Okay, so those are comparison equations with adding words. Let's look at comparison equations with multiplying words. This is where something where in the problem it uses a word like twice or thrice occasionally, or it'll say something like doubled or tripled, or it'll say two times, three times, etc. It's some sort of phrasing that indicates that we are multiplying one thing when we compare it to the other thing. So for example, twice as many burritos as tacos. So if I have twice as many burritos as tacos, burritos is my bigger thing. And the tacos would need to grow, well twice is a multiplying word that means multiplying times two. So I would have to multiply the tacos by two in order to make them equal as the burritos because burritos is bigger. And when that translates to an equation, burritos equals 2t. Now notice 2 is a coefficient. If we are multiplying, that means we have a coefficient. Coefficients go in front of the variables. So this is 2 times the number of tacos is going to tell us about our burritos. 
Or what if I had three times as many pencils as markers? Well, pencils is, again, my bigger thing. So how would the markers need to grow? Well, markers would be growing by three. That's what they tell us in our problem. So when I put that into an equation, I have P equals 3M. Again, the 3 is a coefficient, so it should go first. All right, so let's review the steps for solving system word problems. You're going to read your problems and write, read the problem and write your let statements. Then on your equations, your equations might be a mixture. You might have slope intercept equations, you might have standard form equations, or you might have comparisons. Usually you only have one comparison. You have, might have one comparison and then one of the other type, but you could have a mixture of these. But what's important is that both equations should use both variables. And then you can solve using your preferred method. And then once you solve it, you will have your ordered pair. Remember the solution is the ordered pair that will allow you to answer your question. All right, good luck with your practice.